Hubble's successor, the James Webb Space Telescope, has just made a remarkable breakthrough, providing us with unprecedented insights into the cosmos. This time it has looked deep into the depths of a legendary supernova, SN1987A. The Webb Telescope has discovered new structures, which were unseen by the earlier telescopes. While the implications of this unearthing might not be groundbreaking, it is a step in the right direction, for it will set the building blocks for astronomers in the future. Welcome to Lab 360, it's time to explore. When the star went bang in 1987, it was the nearest, brightest supernova to be seen from Earth in almost 400 years. SN 1987A is sighted a mere 170,000 light years from us in the Large Magellanic Cloud, a dwarf galaxy adjacent to our own Milky Way galaxy. The new image shows better than ever that the supernova remnant center has a structure shaped like a keyhole, visible in blue. This center is packed with clumpy gas and dust ejected by the supernova's explosion. The dust is so dense that even near-infrared light that Webb detects can't penetrate it, shaping the dark hole in the keyhole. The inner keyhole is surrounded by a brilliant, equatorial ring, which forms a band around the waist and joins two faint arms of hourglass-shaped outer rings. The equatorial ring, which was produced from debris expelled tens of millions of years before the supernova explosion, has brilliant hotspots that developed when the shock wave from the supernova impacted the ring. According to NASA, the hotspots developed when the supernova's shock wave collided with the equatorial ring of gas, expelled by the star tens of millions of years before it detonated. Spots may now be detected even outside the ring, with diffuse emission around them. These are the regions where supernova shocks collide with more outer material. Webb has also discovered additional crescent-shaped structures within the debris that Hubble missed. NASA believes the crescents in the are the outer layers of gas ejected during the supernova explosion. They may also provide an optical illusion. In other words, our viewing angle makes it appear that there is more material in these two crescents than there actually may be. NASA wrote in its press release about the new photo, Despite the decades of study since the supernova's initial discovery, there are several mysteries that remain, particularly surrounding the neutron star that should have been formed in the aftermath of the supernova explosion, added NASA, adding that Webb will continue observing it. From some of the deepest views of the universe to studying even the rings of planets in our own solar system, Webb is giving astronomers an entirely new view of space. What next discovery are you expecting from Webb? Let us know in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe to Lab360, because together, we will explore.